Welcome back everyone to video number nine in our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. Uh, if you remember from our previous video, we finally got our first win. Everything went perfect. The strategy worked out great and we got our first win with Rodriguez while Sergio finished in fifth. So with that in mind, let's take a quick look through our uh, team here and see that we're missing a sponsor. Okay, so we've got a sponsor right now that wants us to finish second or above for a nice reward and then 16th or above for a very small reward. So we need to fill this slot and the easiest way to do that is go ahead and fast forward time. You can see here not a whole lot going on for us. And then we've got uh, the car repair will be done shortly. And then, okay, so we've got, let's say we've got a news article and then car repair is done but then most importantly this gets us to looks like we've got three offers very nice for this empty slot so we're at a point now we've got three more races here but everything else is a little bit farther off and pushing into next season okay so here we've got third or above third or above and sixth or above now i know that it would be very nice to think that i could get these but honestly I don't think it's really doable for us at this time. You have to keep in mind, yes, we won a race, but the reason we were able to do that is primarily because we had a brand new driver. Again, he was only a couple of Grand Prix in. So he's, he got to start in the front of the Grand Prix. And because of that, we were able to, and he was just fast enough to stay relatively close to the front before the fast guys came from the back and got up there to him. So I don't feel good at all about this so i'm going to choose the three race deal that gives me a little bit up front and seven hundred thousand if we could finish sixth or above because i think this is much more realistic and besides if i really thought that we were going to get a whole bunch of wins and stuff then i would choose this particular sponsor which wants second or above for a million bucks so that would be the way to go if that were the case now let's go ahead and move on to the car itself and let's see what we've got. So it looks like everything is very reliable on our car. We just need to really increase what we've got uh, going on. Now, you could say, well, we could design some new parts. And it, trust me, I would love to. But at this particular point in time, I'm really wanting to save up some money so that we can get into the HQ. One of the things I want to do is if we come into upgrade buildings, I really want to upgrade the factory. Okay, because that's going to give us plus 10 on part development staff. That is huge. Also, it's going to give us four extra part improvement slots. I really think that's going to be great. And of course, it unlocks some other buildings, which is going to be very nice indeed for us. So I really feel like we need to get going in that direction. And so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I mean, yes, I, I would like to have some even better staff than what we have now. But at this point, I don't think we're really ready for that. All right, let's take a look at the mail. Oh, we got some distractions going on. And it looks like Sergio is causing some issues. All right, so we could find him, get a little bit of extra income, and kill his morale. Or we could help Sergio's morale, hurt the mechanic's morale, uh, or relationship status. Or we could hurt Sergio a little bit. I think I'm going to go with this option because... Yeah, I'm not really interested in the money. I mean, it'd be nice, but I don't want to really hurt him too bad because I want to continue our really good role that we're on on track, and I need him to do that. So finding him right now over that, the fact that he's constantly on his phone, now I'd rather him be in the simulator working on his, his skills, but we don't have that ready in the HQ just yet. So let's go ahead and move on. Here's the Tier 1 series, and... As always, it stops the game mandatorily so that the top two series, either one or both, can run their events. I'm not interested in that. We are not moving up anytime soon to those tiers, although it is in the future, hopefully, if we can continue to improve. All right, so it looks like... All right, now we've got... So previously, we had the Tier 2 event that was running. Now we've got the Tier 1 event. And again, I'm not particularly worried about that all right but I am worried about here the performance work is about to be done okay and I want to pause right there because I don't want them to be idle okay let's go ahead and take a look in here and you can see 
nothing really going on. And let's take a look at what we've got here. So without any development going on, this is where our improvements are coming from. We're really in good shape here on reliability. So that's not a huge issue. Let's see what happens if we swap these out. So we've got 18 days after the race and let's swap these out 15 days after race. Okay. So a little bit quicker here. So I'm interested in that. Now it comes down to brakes. What are we using for brakes? We've got the average brakes, which are right here that we're working on, but they're not going to get up to that. So that's really not something we need to be worried about. And the original engine at 35. Now that is something we need to work on. Okay. So I'm, I'm definitely in favor of this, but the other part that they were working on isn't going to be used anyway. And we are getting toward the end of the season. Let's go ahead and continue there. It stopped because we got to the beginning of a month. All right, so we're ready to travel to Tondela. Now, if you remember from previous videos, we've been here before. So we're going to have a setup to start with. Now, the setups are different every time you go to a track. So it's not like I'm going to be able to just copy it and it be perfect, or at least the chances are it won't be perfect. All right, let's choose a sponsor. Now, I'm going to go here because as much as I'm hoping that we can win, what I really want to do is try to consistently build our money here. And the best way to do that is don't shoot for the moon. Let's be a little bit more conservative. And if, you know, our team principal isn't quite as happy with me because we finished better than that and could have gotten maybe this one, then so be it. All right. So fit parts. Uh, we don't have any new parts to put on here. I don't believe, but let's take a look just in case. Okay, here we've got all the reliability seems to be in place at 100 or very close, as we have here at 93%. And we're using the best parts. Okay, so suspension. Wow, Sergio really has a better suspension. And not that I'm particularly happy about that, but, you know, we're in a position now where it kind of is what it is. We're this deep into the season, and we're going to be coming up on the start of a new season here fairly shortly and I'm hoping to be able to put some buildings in place so we can really start to do some work. All right, with that in mind, it is time to race. Now we're ready for our practice sessions here at Tondela. We're gonna select our first two drivers. No real reason to use our reserve driver. And the way I'm gonna work the setup here is I'm gonna go ahead and start Sergio off with the setup that we used last time or at least I believe this is exactly the same setup as last time. Uh, it seems like the downforce is a little bit high here, but we'll find out shortly. And so by doing this, I'm not expecting this to be exactly, you know, perfect or anything like that. But what I do want to have happen is where's to have a good starting point. Okay. So speed balance you can see is toward acceleration. And we're a little bit off on terms of handling. Let's see if we can get that just back. There we go. So handling is toward oversteer a little bit. And then downforce is very high. So we're going to keep that in mind. Let's get a quick check of our weather. It doesn't look like anything is immediate, immediately in the area. So let's go ahead and use soft tires and confirm that. Now, so what are we going to do with Rodriguez? Well, we're going to use a little bit less downforce. Instead of 18 on the front wing, we're going to use about 16. And instead of a roughly 28, we're going to use about 26. So we're coming down a little bit. You know, downforce was over here for Sergio. We're coming down a little bit, and hopefully that will work out. Uh, tire pressure and camber are kind of small adjustments here. They do work, but I'm not really crazy about, you know, using them too much. Okay, speed balance. I'm going to come back this way a little bit. Uh, that should be more toward the top end than we were before. And I'm going to come about right here on, on the handling. Okay, and we'll see how close we get with that. Tire choice, we're going to also use the soft tires. And let's go ahead and get this thing going. So hopefully we're pretty close with the setup that we used previously at this track. But if that's not the case, then I want to put us in position to be able to learn. All right, stints. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a full lap. Stint, not going to try any trickery there. And 
along the same lines, stents, everything we've already set up there. And let's go ahead and get these out guys out on the track so we can get some feedback. The better you start off with on your setup, the better off you have a chance to end with. All right, so we got Sergio out front. Um, I'm really hoping to improve these guys over time as far as the car that they're driving, but for right now, it's just not in the cards for us. Okay, handling feels great. That's what I like to hear. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's see if we can hear something from Sergio. Sergio set a new fastest sector, as you can see down at the bottom in purple here. So he seems to be pretty happy with his car so far, but we've not gotten anything from him. Or at least not anything that I've seen. All right, too aggressive with the wing angles. Okay. Now, this has been mentioned in the comment section, and I'm very grateful for you mentioning it in the comment, comment section because what you're seeing here is it says we're thinking, uh, I think we're being too aggressive with the wing angles. This is actually reversed. Now, what this tells you is we need to lower the downforce. Well, in the game right now, they've got these reversed. So what it means is we actually need to increase the aerodynamics. We need more wing on it. Okay, and over here, we've got Sergio saying that the handling is good. Okay, that's the first thing we've heard from him. Okay, I'd like to get some more from it. Both of, both of the cars are on in laps here, so we'll be coming back to the pits very soon. And it looks like they're going to fight amongst themselves on the track here. All right, perfect gear ratios. Wow. Gear ratios are just right. Okay, so we're getting... Even though we had slightly different setups between the two guys, we're in a situation now where both of them are saying that they kind of like the setup. All right, so we've got good and okay on downforce. That means I'm going to want to go more toward Sergio on downforce. The handling is good and great, and then good and great here. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at Sergio first. And let's see, his handling, well, I'll tell you what, we already know what he's set up at. The handling for him is where? And again, the way I look at the handling and compare these is it's roughly between the I and the N in handling. So right in here, because I don't have any other way really to, uh, to differentiate and figure out exactly where things are, and the speed balance is right at the S. Okay, and of course, we know the downforce numbers because that's what we started with. Okay, and let's head back over here, and let's say we want to downforce, we want to come toward Sergio, and then handling, we want to come toward Sergio, and then the speed balance, we like it just where it's at. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and do a little work here. But now, we're not perfect on the... Uh, on the arrow. So somewhere between 16 and 18.3, I'm going to go to 17. I'm going to split the difference here. And instead of going between 26 or straight up to 28, I'm going to go to 27. And try to roughly split the difference. All right, so speed balance is great. All right, so that gets us back to exactly that. Now, let's see what we need to do for handling. If you remember, handling was between the I and the N here for Sergio. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. And let's see. Tell you what, let's come right about there. Because again, I think we're in between here. Maybe we can find, yeah, let's see if we can find great or even excellent would be even better. All right, so speed balance. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's see, rather than trying to make it exact, I'm gonna bring it back one notch and see if we can get from great to uh, excellent. Okay, with that in mind, let's go ahead and set that back up. Uh, and let's see, I tell you what, let's, all right, I need to make some notes here because if I don't, then we're going to be in a mess. Okay, so I think we're ready to send him out. I did change his tires, right? Yeah, I changed the tires. And go ahead and get him prepared to send out. I'm going to go ahead and get time started a little bit so he can prepare to go out. Okay, so now on downforce, 
what we're looking at, I'm going to come down just a little bit to about 17.5 and 27.5. Again, I think we're really close to getting an excellent here. So between the two drivers on their second stint, I think we're going to be in really good opportunity to get where we need to be. Okay, so we're great on handling right now. So if I remember correctly, we are about right here, just a little bit farther over toward understeer by just a little bit for uh, Raphael. So we're going to leave this here. We're already at great, and it's changed just a little bit. Now, on speed balance, we're at about right in here for Raphael. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up just a little bit and let's see about right there let's go ahead and we ought to have it pretty much cornered now on that great or excellent there okay so with those adjustments we're at 80 87 percent here and i think we're going to be good as far as finding the least great numbers here if not excellent okay let's go ahead and switch our focus over to rodriguez And hopefully, okay, yeah, there we go. So now both cars are out on track in very close proximity. Um, I don't think we'll get three stints here, but it's possible. Uh, I would love it if we could get three stints here, uh, especially if the track and the weather stay great. Okay, so he likes the tweaks to the downforce. That's good. The arrow, okay, arrow is good. So both of them are liking the arrow, so I think we're right around where we need to be for arrow. And again, the goal here is obviously to get the the final percentage out of you know 100 as high as you can on the setup. So we're looking at 95 or higher. Uh, in the previous race, we got up to around 98, 99, which is awesome. So if we can get there, that would be great. Okay, speed balance is good. And again, at the end of the day, whenever they come in, that's when we're gonna find out for real okay so we're in the neighborhood you can tell we're not getting bad feedback by any stretch of the imagination we're actually getting very good feedback that we're getting close so I have high hopes here um, our strategy is going to be the same as the previous race we're gonna to try to save as much fuel as we can because that's really where it's gonna be for us all right so let's allow both of them to get back in you can see we've got two excellence two greats all right so we're we're in business now all right now we're at a point where we can start to take a look at both of these we're not going to have an opportunity to get back out there because any changes i make are going to trigger a pit stop to make these adjustments and i think we'll run out of time so at this point we're not going to run too much worry too much about that i'm just going to let the practice uh really run through and then we'll go into our race setup next now it's time for our race setup so let's go ahead and use auto pick here although I don't like that at all I don't want that I want that so I'm not looking for bonuses on intermediates uh, that may come back to haunt me you never know but all right so we got 10% extra on race trim and 10% on soft tires I really like that now let's take a look at the the setup okay our setup was 96% so very good here and and that's what you would expect with an excellent and two greats. Okay. And so I'm not apt to do a whole lot about this setup. So let's take a look at our setup for Raphael. Now he's got an excellent here, but you can see the setup that, uh, or where we have this is in regards to understeer and oversteer is extremely close to where we have our other setup. So in that case, um, again, I think we're in good shape, but I do want to make an adjustment here. I'm going to go with the excellent setup from our other driver and use Sergio's setup there. That should get us from great to excellent. And our speed balance. Now, here's where on Sergio's setup, we're between the P and the E. So I do want to come that way just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that takes us back the wrong way. Okay, so I think right there is basically where I want to be. Okay, and let's see. There we go. I don't really want to change his handling at all because, you know, for obvious reasons, it's already very good. And we were at 92% as it was, even with one of them uh, only at good. So I think we're in good shape there. Let's go ahead and choose our tires. 
and full of fuel. Okay, let's come back over, make sure we get the right tires on. And tires, brand new softs. We took a look at the weather. Everything seemed to be good there. Driver's strategy. Now is where we're going to choose both of them to be on saving fuel mode because we do not have the speed to run with these guys. So hopefully we don't have any rain, any contact, anything like that. Uh, no safety cars that will disrupt our race. So now we're ready to get going. Okay, Raphael will again start in second because we start in reverse order based on points in this series. So let's get going and see what happens. Lap one, we're going to start focused on Rodriguez. And again, I mean, if you look in the back of the pack where Sergio is, there's no wonder that it's that you lose a lot of places early on there. Because remember, he's conserving fuel, so he's not going hard at it uh, like some of the other guys are. So it's, you know, it's understandable that he falls back. While what we need Rodriguez to do right now, early race, just like what happened in the previous race, we need him to hold on to what he's got. Stay up front as far up front as he possibly can because if he can do that until lap four or five somewhere in that range then that gives us the ability to have some clean track run some good solid laps while everybody else comes in to make pit stops and then we can inherit the lead and um, really work our strategy because remember as much as we want to win the real focus here is to make sure that we're sixth or above with at least one of our cars so, so far, so good. We're still in second with Rodriguez. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, Sergio has fallen back to 17th. And, okay, we need to stay up front if we can. There are too many cars that just would line up to go past us. So, we're in third now, but in danger of looting, losing that and going back to fifth or sixth very quickly. All right, so we're on lap four. We had, I saw one person come in. Oh, and now we've got the safety car. Okay. So that's not good. All right, what do we need to do here? Well, we've got some options. Safety car coming out so quickly, I am going to pit both of my drivers. And the reason I'm going to do this, um, actually, I may not pit both of them. That's an interesting proposition that we have right now. Let's take a look at our weather, which I generally forget to do most of the time until it's too late. I'm going to pit, and we're going to go ahead and refuel. And the reason I want to do that is because this will give me an opportunity to change my strategy some. Okay, everything looks good on parts and strategy there. Go ahead and stay as it is. So what I can do is let's go ahead and, and let things go. All right, as we're under uh, a different type of strategy now, what I can do is instead of being on low, I can go medium or maybe even high and still be able to finish the race. Now, is this perfect? No. In fact, this may crush our ability to have a great finish but i think this is worth uh, a shot because i think if we don't if we do stay out uh then i think we're in in deep trouble here okay so with that in mind let's come in with both of our cars go ahead and max out on fuel and try to put our best foot forward and and give it a shot here um this may ruin our chances quite frankly Uh, because we do not have the speed. Now, where do we want to go? Okay, so we we want to, as soon as we're getting ready to go green, I'm going to change our strategy. Until then, I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, so we're still in second. And then we've got Sergio in 11th. All right, so we're about a quarter of a lap from going back green. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and put it on. Remember, we've got 10 laps, 10 to 11 laps left. Let's go ahead and move that up. And go medium on both. So now this should give them a little bit of extra speed. Oh, wait. Safety car didn't come in. Okay, I was expecting him to come in. Thought it said one lap remaining a while ago. But he didn't. Okay, so instead of one lap to go, we're still under caution here. All right, so this gives us a little bit more fuel going forward. All right, so now we're on lap number six, uh, making their, I believe, 10 laps. I always have a, a tough time with how Formula One K 
counts the laps. I, I'm not used to that. So I believe that means we've got 10 laps left. So that's going to put us very close on fuel. That doesn't sound right at all. All right, so here we go. Basically, this is like restarting the race, only we are in not as good a position on our strategy. Okay, and with that in mind, we're looking way too close. Okay, so now we're out front. Uh, Sergio, again, is back in traffic. I don't like that. I would love to get him up more. Uh, our fuel. Wow, we're going through the fuel a lot more than I would have thought. I really wanted to turn our strategy up and have a little bit more speed, but that doesn't seem like it's going to work out. All right, we still need to run as high as we can until these pit stops. All right, so we got eight laps remaining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split the difference here and come in. Uh, as you can see, you know, when the fast guys are up front, they just run right past us. All right, let's go ahead and have Sergio pit first. Again, quick look at the radar. It doesn't appear to be any weather around. We're going to have him pit first. Let's see, six. Yeah, we can stretch it to that. We're going to have him do balanced. All right, we'll have him pit first the next time around. And then we'll come in the following lap with Rodriguez. Rodriguez still running third, so we're, we're in fairly good shape. Uh, again, not as far out front as we need to be to make this strategy work, but we're going to make the best of the situation. All right, so Sergio is coming out, but he's in some clear track now, and that's really... Okay, so now it's time for our next pit stop. Fuel options, let's go ahead and take care of that. And Okay, everything looks good there. All right, so we'll go ahead and have him come into pit and we should have plenty left to make it to the end of the race now and keep in mind the ai will pit one more time so here they come several of them coming into the pit lane with me okay we get out ahead of them so far so good the rest will probably come in the next lap or definitely within the next couple of laps meantime sergio is in 12th okay not terrible given our circumstances all right, you can see here the pit icon on the seventh place car. So it looks like he's coming in this next time by. All right, so that should give us a little breathing room. Okay, we're up to third now, but you can see the cars are coming out right behind us. Okay, it's showing we got excess fuel. Uh, let's go ahead and turn up the wick a little bit and see if we can run some pretty good laps and salvage the best possible finishing position we can. Uh, I don't think we're going to come home in third, but maybe we can still get that top six. We just don't have the speed here. Boy, it kills me to watch our cars struggle like this when we don't have the speed. But, all right, because I see a conga line of cars coming right behind us. So we are in real danger here. It would be nice if some of the rest of them would come in for pit stops, but they just got out of the pit, so... Uh, that doesn't look like that's going to happen for us. This is the danger of the strategy we're on that we're forced to run because of our lack of speed. Everything has to go perfect in order for us to have a good finishing position. And in this particular race, it just didn't happen for us. So we're going to make do with the best we possibly can and try to hang on for a top six if we possibly can. And uh, if that doesn't work out, then uh, so be it. We'll get the best we can. Uh, you know, Sergio is doing great. He's in 10th, uh, which is, quite frankly, better than I thought he would probably be able to do, uh, given what's happened in the race. All right, so we're now down to two laps remaining, and they're hot on our heels. The question is, are we going to be able to hold everybody off, finish fourth, or will we at least be able to hold off a couple of them and get a top six in and get that much-needed bonus money? Okay, tires are really starting to wear on both cars, uh, particularly Sergio, because he's been out an extra lap. All right, so we're now on the final lap. All right, let's hold them off. One more lap. And if we can get this done, that'll be a nice chunk of change to help out the race team. Just a few more corners left. 
Less than half of a lap to go. We're still in fourth. All right, if we can have a few good corners here and really bring it home. All right, they're closing in. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, we're closing in on third. Oh, there we go. There we go. I did not see that. I did not notice that we were closing in on the third place car. Wow. Okay, so we come in with a podium finish. Much better than I was expecting. Tremendous result for us uh, today. So we got a third and a 10th place finish. I am extremely happy with that. Uh, 10th place for Sergio, given where he had to start and given the things that happened is a tremendous result for our cars. I can't wait until we can really start to build in our headquarters and, and get things going. So a great example of when, you know, strategy didn't go our way, but we're still able to pull out a great finish. Tremendous finish there. All right, scrutineering. Again, we don't have any parts right now that have any risk of breaking the rules, so we're good there. All right, now we have, let's see. Now we're moved up to ninth for Sergio in the point standings. And here we go, a podium. It's always nice to see when one of your drivers can get on the podium. Let's take a look at... Let's see, driver championship. Oh, he fell to 11th. Okay. So he fell to 11th, and I must have been looking at the individual race finishing standings. Okay, so he's only a couple of positions or a couple of points out of ninth, really. And then it's very close as you get up toward the top. Very good. So we're now in sixth or tied with sixth in the owner's points. Just what we needed. Let's go ahead and skip through here because I don't need to read their Twitter comments. Not really all that interested in that. Okay, what I am really interested in is getting to this screen and let's see what we've got for morale. We've got plus 20%. That's good. Still very low for him because, again, he does not like it that uh, Raphael is getting as good or slightly better of a car than he is. So we got Raphael, his morale is very high at 85%. Everything looks good there. Our drivers continue to improve and their relationships with their mechanic continues to improve. We come over and look at the chairman who is the one person who can fire us. We came in third, expected ninth. So a very good result. And it looks like the happiness here has, has pegged out because we didn't miss out on any money here because we didn't come in second or higher. So our marketability continues to increase, and that's the kind of thing that I really enjoy. Okay, we'll go ahead and continue and look at the money, and you got to love making $826,000 out of a race. Eventually, we're going to need to make much more than that in profit per race, but $826,000 will definitely take it. Thanks for joining me on this episode of our Let's Play series, and stay tuned for more. Motorsport Manager.